Good afternoon, Lace Shop, and I'm John. This is Betty F. True and welcome to Fallout New Vegas. Where do they go? Because today, I'd like to run an experiment that I've been thinking about for a very long time, which is Fallout New Vegas, as you may have noticed if you were paying attention, is full of characters, like hundreds, maybe thousands of the bastards. Now, the majority of them just sort of live somewhere. They wander around their local area, they speak to you, but they never really move around. But... There is a very special minority of characters. Characters who wander a little bit more. Sometimes because you chase them off, sometimes you convince them to leave their home, sometimes they just show up, deliver a message, then wander off into the distance. So today I want to answer a very important question, which is, when it comes to all of these wanderers, where do they go? So, just in case you've never thought about this before, let's start off with, yes, possibly the most famous example. So, right at the beginning of the game, you arrive at Nipton, and Oliver Swanick is here to welcome you. Make a few, yes, yeah, slightly uh, vague comments about winning the lottery, but uh, he doesn't hang around in Nipton. No, 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 no. He's off to see the flipping world, and I want to answer the question, yeah, precisely, which bit of the world does he try and get to? Smell that air! Couldn't you just drink it like booze? <laughs> oh, Oliver, I love you so much. But uh, yes, as it turns out, I need to go now. And weirdly enough, so do you. And indeed, off he goes out into the wilderness. Now, unfortunately, I can't help but notice he's running straight towards, yes, Rad Scorpion territory. So uh, I may have slightly set up some console commands. So I've got, you know, just a little bit of help to make sure that the man is actually going to be... Uh, a-okay, so don't worry, Oliver. I've flipping got you back here. We're gonna find out where this guy goes. Together with, yep, there we go. He's starting to panic because you can see some scorpions over there. Don't worry, Oliver. I've flipping got you. I've turned the game down to very easy. I've got a lot of flipping ammo. We're gonna be A-O flipping K, all right? Okay, many dead scorpions. Oliver seems to be recovering, but uh, he hasn't learned his lesson. He's just going deeper and deeper into... No, you flipping don't. He's going deeper and deeper into scorpion territory. So, I just need to keep clearing the path for him and... Okay, turns out he just really likes scorpions. Possibly he just wants to be an entomologist. I'm not 100% sure. But uh, just in case it goes wrong for him, I better just, you know, take care of some of this uh, on his behalf. Okay, he's decided to bear around to the right to the crashed plane in the desert, and now he's uh, now he's continuing on his way. I think we've bypassed most of the scorpions at this point. Now, occasionally he just sort of stops. However, fuck off! Win your own fucking lottery! <laughs> yep, he's got some extra bonus dialogue, but it would appear that this here is precisely where he wants to live. He wants to live. Uh, at this spot, next to this rock, that would normally be uh, Rad Scorpion Central. So basically, Oliver Swanick has just got a complete flipping death wish. Now, you see, that one's nice and simple. He just starts over there and wants to walk over here. But uh, plenty of other characters, uh, yeah, it's a lot more complicated than that. So let's talk about Malcolm Holmes. Malcolm Holmes is the character who approaches you to discuss the star bottle caps, but he doesn't have a fixed position. Right now, he doesn't exist on the map. He gets spawned in to come and speak to you about star bottle caps only when you find your first star bottle cap. Now, in Good Springs, that's easy enough to do because, yeah, in the house that Sunny Smiles lives in, right here, star bottle cap. All we need to do now is step outside and do a little bit of waiting. Malcolm Holmes will be along in a moment. Hello there. It's good to see a friendly face. I almost took you for a raider, I did. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm Holmes. Here he is, a few days later, and he's shown up inside Good Spring. Spectacular. Now, normally, of course, his life expectancy at this point would be, uh extremely short because as most people know he's actually got a few star caps on his body and also you know trader gear which you probably wouldn't otherwise have at this point in the game and it can be very useful for getting yourself the leather armor for ghost town gunfights so yeah on this occasion poor old malcolm holmes is not going to die instead we're gonna you know escort him to wherever it is he wants to go all right, Holmes is off and we've got a direction for him. He's heading due south out of Good Spring. So, uh, starting off, he's heading in a prim direction. He is going in towards, yeah, Gecko territory. But, to be honest, he's probably going to be fine. 
Okay, via a slightly convoluted and dangerous gecko infested route, yes, Malcolm appears to be trying to rejoin up with the road, so possibly he's actually programmed to try and, yeah, follow the road as far as possible. Good idea for not getting killed in New Vegas, the roads are safer. Okay, I've taken the scenic route through the rocks over here, and yeah, having a couple of close calls with some geckos, who unfortunately are now full of holes, uh, yeah, he's actually uh, returned to the road, uh, and is now passing by Prem. Though he has taken the right-hand branch rather than the left, and the left is the one that actually carries straight through, uh, the right just leads into uh, this little dead end. Ah! Okay, unless you're trying to get up this hill, but I wouldn't recommend it, this is... Uh, that's a slightly dangerous bit of the map, Mr. Holmes. Oh yeah, he's beelining and I think we can see a destination. It looks to me like he's actually heading up towards uh, the outpost beyond the statues. Unfortunately, that's going to lead him, uh, yeah, potentially uh, straight past giant rad scorpions and some ghouls. So uh, don't worry, Malcolm, a flipping gotcha. Okay, this, by the way, is why you want to be saving a lot when you do this. Because the slight issue we've got is when characters who are just trying to get somewhere get stuck, if they get stuck for more than a few seconds, the game's just like, meh, whatever. They don't need to exist anymore. So I've been saving on the regular. So just okay. give him a bit of a nudge. Just get him away from the hard bit of the step and over to the... Over to this way, over to this way, over to this way. Push him up, push him up, push him up. And there we go, we've pushed him up the steps. Marvellous. Okay, so, we have got past that impenetrable barrier. Good, good, good. Uh, yes, we might just need to, uh, shove you in the event of trouble. Okay, he has entered ghoul territory, but this is kind of actually making him speed the flip up, so I'm gonna flip and take it. Yeah, as I suspected, literally every ghoul, literally every rad scorpion. You could not have picked a stupider route. All right, it took a lot of murder, but our lads made it. Malcolm Holmes uh, wants to live in the NCR outpost. The question is, uh, is this actually going to be where he stops? Okay, he's entered the complex and appears to be heading for the bar, actually. This is, okay, this is all a surprise. Now, is this going to be the opportunity for the game to despawn him? I know. No, he's not. Malcolm, Malcolm. Huh? Okay, Malcolm to... just panicked in the face of the door to the bar. You okay, Malcolm? Okay, he makes it in on that occasion, but... Is he going to be waiting for me on the far side, or is Malcolm Holmes uh, just despawned? Because uh, he is technically a trader. So, okay, are you here, my friends? Nope, he's definitely not inside, and yeah, just running it a few more times. He doesn't actually, in any way, no, sometimes he panics, sometimes he doesn't. When he does get to the door... He doesn't fade out and he doesn't generate the door opening noise. He just... Okay, so we have ourselves an answer. Malcolm Holmes comes to the bar in the NCR outpost to die. Except, of course, yes, that leads to um one follow-up question, which is, uh, does he always do that? Because, you see, fun fact, if he comes to this building to die when he steps inside it, there is a star bottle cap inside this building. And uh, I know he can spawn inside because uh, he spawned inside in Good Springs. So uh, what happens if you force Malcolm Holmes uh, to spawn inside the building that he comes to to die? Oh, here he comes. Here comes our guy. Right, we've got him. We've flipping got him. He is now inside the building that he wants to come to to die. The question is, uh, what the flip's going to happen now? Okay, Malcolm is now trying to leave the bar after chatting with me. I'm going to assume he's just going to sort of... Uh... No, he has actually loaded out into the world because you actually heard the noise and he faded. However, he's not going to be... Oh, he is going to be out here. Right, so he simply... Yes, he definitely gravitates towards this point. This is where he wants to die. However, we're not quite done with Malcolm Holmes or at least rather the stuff that he generates just jets. Here we go, because yes, until you've actually spoken to Malcolm Holmes and thus know what the star bottle caps are, this event can't spawn. The event being the fight between Tomas and Jacqueline, who will fight each other because Jacqueline wants Tomas's star bottle caps. I believe if you've not met Malcolm Holmes, this event simply won't occur. However, either of them can survive the fight. So, 
On this occasion, looks like victory's going to Tomas. So let's just uh, allow that to happen for a second. Tomas just going to take out Jacqueline, but apparently she started it. So fair enough, I suppose. And as soon as she's dead, Tomas is going to want to come and speak to me. So yes, she totally attacked you. Though to be honest, she was carrying in the road and you were shooting her in the face. So I'm not 100% sure I believe your version of events, but whatever. Now, once that's done, Tomas decides to wander off. And uh, now I'm starting to wonder whether potentially, yeah, the actual uh, NCR outpost might just be used as a generic NPCs that are wandering off are supposed to go over here destination. Because, uh, yeah, Tomas seems to be heading immediately towards that. Though, I uh, just need to make sure we take care of some scorpions for him. Fortunately, he's actually armed, so... If we're very lucky indeed, yeah, on this occasion, we won't need to worry so much about him being murdered. He can defend himself, he is wearing armour. Yeah, he's coming to the exact same point as well. He wants to actually enter the outpost by going in round the right, even though he was actually approaching from straight on. Like, there's like a very fixed point that's been set on the map that NPCs are being drawn towards. Okay, I feel like I've just discovered a terrible dark secret in New Vegas here. Like, apparently there's just a black hole in the universe that NPCs come to throw themselves into when they no longer want to exist. Okay, I've run this a few times, and yes, the result is always the same, which is... Uh, it's not the exact same black hole. Instead, in just a moment, as he walks in this direction, uh, Tomas is uh, quite possibly... There it is. Okay, so... Uh, this is fascinating, which is, uh, we've checked three characters so far. Two of them have points they want to get to, uh, at which point they just blink out of existence. But Oliver Swanick doesn't. For some reason, he's got a point he wants to get to, but he gets to live. So, at some point during the programming of New Vegas, somebody took a very pro-Oliver Swanick position. Highly important question number two, what happens if flipping Jacqueline wins the fight? So we might need to, uh... Sorry, did you just kill Jacqueline? You're gonna need to take out Thomas fast, because he tends to win this fight very easily. He's got the better armor. There we go. I see Thomas in the distance over there, just... Okay, I'm gonna be honest. My accuracy is a little bit on the, the low side of... Oi, leave me the flip alone. I'm busy doing experimentation. All right, I'm pretty sure Jacqueline got him on that occasion, and uh, yeah, she's gonna go over to the corpse. She needs to collect the caps. Then she's gonna come and speak to me. The question is, uh, is her destination going to be the same as his? Oh yeah, Jacqueline is doing precisely the same thing. She's actually heading to uh, precisely the same point. Okay, we need to figure out how deep this goes because uh, it can't be everybody. Not every character in the game needs to go to the NCR outpost for one very important reason, which is uh, some of them, just in terms of faction, physically can't. So, okay, let's go find some of them. Here we go. Quick trip through Scorpion Gulch. How about we just, yeah, sneak in the back of Black Mountain. Make sure we resolve that nice and peaceful because Tabitha and Rhonda cannot possibly be wanting to go and hang out with the NCR. Hopefully. Here we go. Just charge into the building. Quick science check right there. Rhonda's up on our feet at the moment we step outside. Instant free victory. Magnificent. Hello there, Tabitha. Mistress Tabitha, we should be heading off. Our journey has been much delayed, but we can catch up if we hurry. Come along now. Okay, so they're just going on an adventure of some description. Let's figure out where that journey's off to. Okay, obvious start, they're following the road down from Black Mountain. But of course, if they just follow the road straight out, yeah, that's uh, the quarry. Over there, they'll be going straight into Deathclaw Central. A Nightkin and a robot might do pretty well normally, but uh, I wouldn't fancy their chances there. So, okay, we might need to be uh, helping out a bit again. Though they are conveniently going to save me a bit of time by taking a very steep shortcut. Flipping love it. In fact, they're walking straight through the, uh, yeah, the trap place. Which unfortunately means that... Oh, that was my leg, actually. Uh, yes, I could have... If I just run down, they could have... Okay, hang on. Now I just need to check this. We'll be getting back to your journey in a second. But now I know you come down this route. Because, yeah, this here, this is the bypass that I use all the time. But they're actually going to... There's the flipping way. What the... What the flip just happened to Rhonda? 
Rhonda! Rhonda's... Oh, I've never seen this one before. Spectacular. Right, so, I mean, Rhonda seems to be mostly fine. Right, so now we just jump over... Now we just jump over here. And that's going to trigger the rock. And now... Now Tabitha's in the... Okay, Tabitha just passes... Well, this is... This is fascinating. All of a sudden. I've literally never seen this one before. So many years on and I'm still discovering new bugs in Fallout New Vegas. What the hell is this? Okay, now I sort of want to run into some enemies. Because I'm not sure whether Ronda can still fight in this form. Okay, something's shown up. What's just shown up? And wait, what? What? Okay, um... So, I'm... They're attacking me at this point. Because... No, 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 no. Why are you attacking me? I feel like this is not the right... Okay, also, is, is Rhonda... Rhonda's... Is Rhonda... Okay, Rhonda's sort of rebuilding herself, which is... This is all fascinating stuff. Okay, so somewhere around here, there's an invisible nightkin. If the nightkin sees me and attacks, Rhonda and Tabitha also attack. Even though I'm their best friend and the Nightkin is supposed to be neutralized right now. So what I've got to do for the moment is what the hell is going on right now. Is I've got to stay out of the way. Close enough they don't despawn. But far enough away that a Nightkin, I don't know where that Nightkin is. Yeah, they can't be allowed to detect me. So... Okay, if I stay on the high ground over here, that should hopefully work out. Okay, at some point between over there and over here, Rhonda appears to have rebuilt herself. She's no longer in pieces, which is spectacular. That's marvellously good news. And uh, I think we've managed to make it around the... Oh, that's it. We found the point. Right, so there is a black hole for Rhonda and Tabitha right here at the base of Black Mountain. They walk down to the base, but no further. Okay, let's go over to someone who I'm actually fairly confident has got a good journey that they're going to be going on. That's, yeah, Volpez and Kulta over here in Nipton. Because this one's a bit of a weird one. Like, many times in the past, I've just headed on my way around the road over here. And then just run into a couple of Legion Hounds, couple of Legionaries. But that's it. No, uh, no Volpez. Which has always made me wonder whether some of these guys despawn and some of them don't. So, okay. If we actually stick close by to Volpez, there he is right there. Yeah, can we get this entire group to go on a bit of a journey? Here we go. Volpez, four legionaries, two dogs, and yeah, presumably they could actually take on pretty much anything they run into. So, okay, let's see how far they go. Because I know for a fact there are some legion patrols up in those hills that can go on quite the journey. I just don't know how far... Volpez himself is willing to join them. Okay, I'm taking out a handful of scorpions just to make sure the Legion don't, you know, uh, split apart panic or anything. Though I will say this is, uh, this is looking a bit dangerously steep. So we might need to, um, yeah, give old Volpez a little bit of a push at some point. Just to make sure he doesn't get stuck in a corner in case that despawns him. Oh yeah, this looks like he's a little bit stuck here. So I'm just going to nudge him past this. There we go. Don't worry, Volpez. I gotcha. How's the rest of the team, by the way? Some of them are a bit bit stuck too, but honestly, Volpez is the one I'm most interested in. So if they get stuck, there's a big horner and... Ah! There's the ambush. Now... Oh! Nope, they've caught up. Okay, good. They've actually made it past. Well done. Well done, everybody. Ah! I'm guessing he goes this way so he doesn't trigger the ambush so it's still there. For the player, makes sense, okay. So yeah, as I suspected, it looks like he's trying to head directly to Cottonwood Cove. Problem is, to do that, you pass straight by, you know, Searchlight. And uh, the very large number of NCR located right there. So, uh, I'm not sure if he'd win that. Like, with the entire team, I feel like he would. Just, uh, maybe I'll provide a bit of assistance just in case. Though, uh, if he's going to Cottonwood Cove... Uh, Where's he actually going? If I had to guess, maybe he'll just cease to exist when he hits the raft. Then again, hang on. The raft isn't there yet. The raft, I think, doesn't spawn until... Or maybe it is there, but you can't interact with it. I can't remember also, Volpez. Uh, careful. 
Just, you know, don't get yourself stuck on anything. Also, I hadn't noticed this before, but I like how three of the Legion are literally the same person. We've also got ourselves a handful of... Uh, yeah, just a handful of NCR over there. Just the one. Nope, never mind. When I say just one, I've seen this patrol before. But, uh, yeah, on this occasion... Uh, they're a bit heavily on the outnumbered side, actually. And many of you do have guns. In fact, Cowboy Repeater's not even that bad. So, okay, you're gonna be, uh, you're gonna be absolutely slaughtered, my friends. And yeah, this is very interesting. They are acting like, uh, Tabitha and Rhonda, which is, uh, they're sticking close by to the leader. Wherever the leader goes, uh, they're just trying to follow. So, uh, I don't know what happens if, you know, Volpez in Colta gets himself killed, uh, and then they win the fight anyway, like, who starts leading them? Okay, that I want to know. Oh, yeah, I see the NCR patrol right there. Now the question is, uh, they're gonna, okay, so one of them's down, Volpez is down, but now Volpez is down, hang on, now I just need to take out the rest of them, take out you, take out you. So now they're all dead, yes, yes, I know, I've been a bit shunned, that's okay, but... What are you guys going to do now? And... As I suspected, literally nothing. They're going to do literally nothing because they've lost their leader. So now they don't have the ability to, um, to move anymore. Okay, we should probably keep Volpez alive in that case. Okay, just stay a few steps ahead of Volpez here, but not too far away in case he despawns. And in a moment, they're going to draw their guns. Uh, but that's all absolutely fine because... Uh, yes, nicely lined up right there. And down you go. Yes, yes, I know. That's all unfortunate for you. Right, bit on the... Wow, straight down to vilified. That's harsh for only three murders. Still, I'm keeping Volpez safe. That's the important... He's actually looping towards the NCR camp, isn't he? Right, you've got a death wish, mate. It's gonna take some major assistance to keep, uh, yeah, our lad alive right here, though. Because now, now there's a lot of them, actually. So just, no, please start shooting at me. Start shooting at me, not at him. Okay, a few attempts later, I've just managed to keep Volpez and Coulter alive. But yeah, if you're actually walking with him so he hasn't already despawned, this is... This is quite tricky to do, because he is just determined to walk straight through NCR territory. He's also decided he wants to walk straight through the radioactive NCR super town, and also, yep, get, uh, please, please don't walk in the way while I'm firing. Uh, yeah, he's walking uh, straight into the, uh, the ghoul troopers uh, as well. Okay, we should be past any danger at this point, and I've managed to keep, yeah, Volpez, one dog, and the triplets all alive. So, uh, the question now is, uh, yeah, who's going to disappear? Is it just going to be Volpez? Uh, where's his black hole located? And in which case, what's going to happen to the triplets and their dog here? Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. He has managed to make it only just with a huge amount of... Okay, you all cease to exist. And then... I'm going to be honest, that's the complete opposite of what I was expecting. So... Uh, the rest of his troops have all gone missing, but you're just standing here. Was there more for us to discuss? I'm going to be honest, no, not really. Just well done for not disappearing into a black hole. Well, with you alive, I've done a good bit of work for the Legion, but yes, now it's, uh, now it's time for the boot to be on the other foot for a second. Here we go, just the north of where we were, the Legion camp of Bootet. So, uh, all right, guys, uh, sorry, but it's him again, isn't it? Yeah, it, it's just this guy. Never really noticed him before, but it does rather appear that uh, basically the entire Legion army is mostly being uh, staffed by clones. Right, so you all need to die now, by the way. So, bye, and then uh, bye for you as well, and then bye for you as well. Yep, this is all going well so far, because, yes, it would appear... NCR people try and go to the nearest NCR base. Legion people try and go to the nearest Legion base, even if it's a bloody long way away. But uh, you don't really have a base aside from the NCRCF, and that's a really bloody long way away. So uh, let's see where you decide to go, my friends. Okay, immediately they're heading south. So gotta watch out for, yeah, the fact that some NCR traders are gonna spawn up on the bridge. Because uh, 
Powder Gang is an NCR or hostile by default, so keep a distance. Make sure they don't spawn. And then... Where are you going? There's basically nothing to the south of where we are. I don't know where they're trying to get to. Okay, the husbandry farm is right there. So we are right out in the sticks right now. We're approaching the edge of the map. There's only so much further south you can go. And we've also hit... Oh, we've hit ghouls. Right, uh, protect them. Protect them. Oh, bloody hell. That was a bad time to need to reload, actually. Okay, we might need to try that again. Because... Uh, Okay, technically I just failed booted. So that's, that's interesting. Oh, there's, there's a lot here as needs to be taken care of. Okay, they're actually running, they're running straight to the test site, aren't they? Oh, well, that's a bad idea. Okay, I need to get ahead of them. And right now, I can't actually catch up with them or overtake them. So we're going to need to cheat. Here we go. So the console command player.setav speed mult 200 basically just means game, please modify my own speed up to 200% of what it just was. So basically I can run twice as fast. Okay, now that's flipping better. Now, now I can actually be a proper bodyguard to you guys. Don't get too far ahead though, they might despawn. Okay, they're just ghouls though. Ghouls are oh bloody hell duh. Okay, I'm a bit I'm a bit fast on the on the strafing side to side, actually. It's okay, it's fine. I got you. You guys are gonna be a-okay. By which I mean like, you know, probably. Uh okay, you guys are the, the dangerous ones. Go and then go and then flipping go. Right, take them out, they're all dead. Uh where's where have you guys? Okay, there are a lot more of them over there than I was expecting. Okay, do not get too far ahead of these guys, though, because they're coming in from every side. They're coming in from every side, despite my speed and it being very easy and me having a Gatling laser. There's going to be more coming in from every angle. Then they just sort of... Have you reached the point where you're just done, by the way? You might have done. Okay, in which case, I just need to defend this spot. I just need to defend this spot. Are you guys okay? They're just... Oh, oh, wait, no. They, they want to go and fight. They want to go and fight Reavers. Terrible. Terrible idea. I'm going to strongly, strongly recommend against this. But, like, I, I guess I'll try and protect you if you're determined to. Uh, where'd they just go, by the way? No, they've gone back over there. But, like, they do try and fight if they see a bad thing, which is, uh, you know, impressive. Uh, and then... Uh, are we good? We're officially still in danger. Danger for... No! 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 Not now! We were doing really well! Uh, go! No! No, don't hit him. Don't hit him. Don't hit my friend. Alright, shoot him in the face. It's one of them. Okay, one of them's dead. I'm gonna be honest. I'm sorry. One of you is dead at this point. Because there's, there's cocky reavers. And uh, technically, I think I just, I, I lost booted because one of them died. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, next up, I need to go to the north of the map. And on this save file, I haven't actually been there yet. So, uh, I decided to uh, basically play God and probably go too far and set my speed to 500% uh, of the original. And I'm going to be honest, I'm really rather enjoying it. This is rather nice. I mean, there is 100% something to be said for being able to play Fallout New Vegas at the same speed as you'd normally be playing Doom Eternal. That's That's got something going for it. Anyway... Jacobstown, here we go, because yes, all we've got to do is just step inside, step back outside again, and the mercenaries are now in play. So, one quick speech check to get rid of them. And with that, him and his men pack up their guns and just wander straight on. Be flipping beautiful. And when I say him and his men... Okay, at least one of his men... Are you... You guys planting... There we go, good. Good, good, good. They've decided to uh, join in too. So, uh, my friend, you're kind of out in the middle of nowhere right now. Officially, of course, these are NCR hired mercenaries, suggesting, based on the patterns we've seen so far, they're going to do one of two things. Either they're going to find the nearest NCR base and then just sort of despawn when they hit it, or they're going to deliberately throw themselves into the biggest pile of monsters they can find, which would probably be the Cazadors close by to Vault 22. Okay, we're not in danger, but he started... Uh, he started running about halfway down the mountain track. Possibly he's become spooked by some of the big horners that are hostile by default on occasion, but... 
Not really sure what you're after, my good man. He's left the rest of his friends miles behind in that direction, by the way. I don't even know where they are right now, but uh, good. This will speed things up a bit. Okay, due respect to Norton. He has made it all the way to the bottom of the path. That is a long bloody way. He still hasn't despawned. He has gone a lot further than Tabitha ever did. And fascinatingly, yeah, he's taken a left turn out of the bottom. Now that's... That's the collapsed, uh, is it a collapsed bridge? I think it's a collapsed bridge or something. Anyway, it's, uh, it's a dead end. It's one of the roads out of Vegas that's just a dead end. It's the edge of the map. He is literally heading uh, towards the edge of the map. But unlike our friends over in the Powder Gangers, uh, yeah, there's no enemies over here. So, uh, I guess he's just going to pop out of existence in a second. Or alternatively, he's not. And in doing so, he's sort of... Uh, accidentally solved a little mystery I never even knew was a mystery, which is uh, there's a campfire right here, just like in the middle of nowhere, with no one camping around it right at the edge of the map. So uh, why is this here? Well, apparently it's his, because it's where he's just stopped and now he's not. Okay, so this campfire is the campfire of the mercenaries and Norton who are attacking Jacobstown. Mystery I never knew was a mystery solved. Right, next up, I've got an appointment at Gamora. Because Joanna here needs some help escaping. Because, of course, after getting her out into Freeside, the Omertas don't exactly let them go that easy. There's one final little confrontation before Joanna and Carlitos get to make a run for it. But a quick speech check, they're out of the way. They'll just nip back to the casino. But that means Joanna and Carlitos and now free. You're now just heading uh, through Freeside and sort of all traveling together. The beard mercenaries, Joanna, her two former colleagues, Carlitos himself. So yeah, where exactly are these guys going to end up and do they all travel together or are they going to split up at some point? Ah, nice easy one for the game here. Pure and simple, nobody appears on the far side of this here load zone. Okay, but to wrap up, there's two rather special ones, which is, yes, certain characters only spawn into the world based on your reputation. And two in particular, both align with the NCR, are of interest to me. So uh, I'm just going to very quickly use a console command to boost up my NCR reputation adjots. Here we are, NCR Radio Man, who... Okay, I just spoke to him outside of... Did I just literally, purely accidentally, actually manage to get you to spawn right next to your... Okay, 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 we've got to check this, because I might have just purely flipping bullseye down without even thinking about it, if the NCR McCarran base is actually truly where he's supposed to be going. Okay, just boosted myself to accept it again, but this time I'm standing in Good Springs, so... Okay, now we're going to see if maybe he just homes in on the nearest base, even if it's not necessarily McCarran. He might just be wanting to go to wherever the nearest NCR base is located. You've done a good turn for the NCR, and now we'd like to do one for you. And now he's, yeah, now he's actually running back in, oh dear. Um, I wouldn't try and make it back to McCarran. To be perfectly honest, I feel like, yes, um, I may have deliberately put myself right here, where the direct path back to McCarran would be uh, straight through Quarry Junction, which I feel bad about now, to be perfectly honest, especially as, uh, well, actually, this is, in some ways, this is rather useful. You could definitely use this guy, because now you know, whenever you get accepted, he will come and find you, once he finds you, he will then beeline via the most direct route possible back to McCarran. And at which point, yeah, he can just blast his way past, well, plenty of low-level enemies. Powder gangers are no problem whatsoever for him. Just to be clear, that was complete guesswork. I was just picking completely random spot at a fast travel location for, but uh, it turns out McCarran is just... Where he's trying to get to, and yes, I know about the death claws. To be honest, I'd be warning the ranger, not me. I'm just gonna uh, keep my distance while this is. Uh, yep. So that's that's a thing that's happening now. That's that's unfortunate for you. 
And for my last trick, we're going to be facing off against Xia. I'd say something that very few people actually see. Loads of people, of course, have seen uh, legionary assassination squads. Because, you know what? Lots of people accidentally annoy the legion during their first playthrough. And uh, legion hit squads are brutal. Now, the NCR has the same hit squads, but generally it's a bit tougher to annoy the NCR in the early game. It's something that's uh, more difficult to do by accident anyway. So, uh, fun thing about NCR hit squads... Unlike Legion Assassins, they don't actually open fire on you when you first run into them. They come up to you, they give you a warning, they say get your reputation back to where it should be within a few days, otherwise we're gonna come and kill you. At which point, they wander off, so I'm really curious where they go, because you don't see them on the map very often at all, and of course, they could spawn... Well, not just about anywhere, there are fixed points where kill teams are allowed to spawn. So I'm kind of curious, yeah, whether there's a single point they're trying to get to. I have no clue. That'll be them over there. Right, hello NCR Hit Squad. Honestly, I'm not sure you've ever been on the channel before. I can't remember showing you off in the past. Since you haven't pissed yourself, I'll assume that you don't know who we are. Next time I'll bring my sickle and wear my black cloak. See? The NCR sends us when they want terrible things done to terrible people. Alright, so yes, what's that do to the NCR? What you did, John, was enter a series of console commands that made them hate you. Very unfortunate. So, yeah, screw you and screw the NCR! You've got three days to improve your reputation with the NCR or we come for you. Without all this pleasant conversation. Have a nice day now, you hear? And yes, indeed, you can try and provoke them, but they literally won't do it. Crap. You don't even want to live a few more days? Go. Get laid one more time or something. We're walking away. Three days. Well, you know what? It wouldn't be New Vegas if just occasionally it didn't completely break. Because uh, despite her specifically saying they were about to walk away, uh, yeah, I've tried in multiple save files. She's just, um... She's just refusing to move. But I'm gonna be honest, you're gonna be the finale of this video one way or the other. So, if you're not gonna run away, and thus we can't figure out where you live, you're going to be converted into some other form of entertainment. Got it? You see, these guys have been programmed to be faster than me, so they can always catch up with me. But I've programmed myself to be faster than them. And that means I can lead them wherever the hell I want, because they're supposed to just hunt me down and... Uh, I can't help but keep in mind that, uh, yeah, fairly close by to this exact location, just around the corner, in fact, is Deathclaw territory. There's a giant pile of Deathclaws. The entrance to Quarry Junction, right over here, is, uh, yeah, barely a few hundred meters away. So, guys, 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 I am going to lead you in to a fun party right now. Here we flippin' go, the fireworks begin! Right, so Grumpy McGee's already flippin' dead, as is that- Oh, okay, right, uh, the problem is that the Deathclaw's also willing to, uh, also willing to attack me. Fortunately, I'm Captain Superman, so, uh, that's- that's not gonna be- Oh yeah, you flippin' better run, you cowards! Cause technically, of course- Oh, bloody hell, he's back! And with that, ladies and gentlemen, perhaps we have in part answered that great question, where do they go? And the answer is, uh, some of them just disappear into a black hole in a faction-appropriate base. Some of them decide that they're going to go on a holiday to the most enemy-infested area that they can actually locate, if the devs just, you know, didn't like that character for some reason. And some of them just refuse to cooperate and thus end up going into a death claw stomach because basically, screw you, NCR hit team. So, I never knew about the weird black holes that just sort of a NPCs located in the NCR outpost. That's very interesting. So, okay, hopefully we have all learned something here today. Coming up next is, oh, bloody hell, uh, coming up next is a very big Fallout project. There's a lot of stuff pertaining to uh, Fallout 4 coming up very soon indeed. So yes, plenty to look forward to in the coming weeks, ladies and gentlemen. I suspect when it comes along, yeah, you're gonna be, uh, you're gonna be very glad I took a bit of extra time over the last month or two prepping a few bits and pieces, because, uh, I got some very, very special stuff pertaining to Fallout 4 coming up very, very soon indeed. Hopefully, you're looking forward to that. But in the meantime, I've been John, this has been many a true nerd, and this has been Fallout New Vegas with Where Do They Go? Thank you very much, and goodbye. If we just hide the bodies, nobody needs to know about this. Yes! My stupid, stupid plan has worked! It turns out I'm a genius!
The giant rad scorpion is not gone. Oh, hang on. There's, there's more yet, though. I'm still being very shocked. Guys, where's the NCR? Nobody needs to know.